You've probably seen those creepy AI horror stories that come out of nowhere and suddenly take over your entire feed. Millions of views, insane comments, people begging for part two like their life depends on it. And the craziest part? Most of these accounts didn't even exist a week ago. Zero followers, no face on camera, no editing experience, yet they blow up overnight. And TikTok is literally throwing money at them. I'm talking about creators earning $1,000 plus from a single short video that barely lasts 60 seconds. Think about that a one minute story making more than someone working an entire week. But here's what no one tells you. Most people try to copy these videos and fail miserably. Not because it's impossible, but because they don't know which AI tools actually work. How to write stories that force people to watch till the last second. And how to edit them so the viewer can't look away, even if they want to. Right now, only a tiny group of creators know the real method. And they're dominating the algorithm while everyone else scrolls past wondering, how are they doing this? But what if you could do it too? without a camera, without a mic, without any editing skills at all. Stay with me because in this video, I'm going to reveal exactly how these viral horror creators grow overnight and how you can do the exact same thing using free AI tools. By the end, you'll realize you've been ignoring one of the easiest ways to explode on TikTok and make money online right now. All right, let's get started. First, let me show you a few channels that are already working in this niche and are earning thousands of dollars just by posting daily horror videos. These examples are simply to motivate you and help you understand how powerful this niche is. There are also TikTok pages growing extremely fast with the same type of content. In this tutorial, we'll focus on one TikTok page called USA True Story to study its theme and content style. Let's watch a few of their videos. As you can see, the creator mainly uses images, cartoon-style characters, shake effects, and on-screen captions to tell short horror stories. And that's exactly what we're going to create today. To make things easy, I've already done the homework for you. I've prepared a Google Docs file that contains a master template, which will help you write similar stories and generate the right images. The link to this file is available in the video description. Step number one. Now, open ChatGPT. Once it's open, go to the Google Docs file and copy the first prompt. Paste it into ChatGPT and click Generate. ChatGPT will now create a short horror story about one minute long. Read the story. If you don't like it, simply type Next and click Generate again. It will instantly create a new story. Just like in my case, I didn't like the second story either, so I typed next again until I found one that was perfect. Once you're satisfied with the story, return to the Google Docs file and copy the second prompt, then paste it into ChatGPT. You'll notice that ChatGPT understands the instructions and asks for your storylines. Now duplicate your browser tab so you can work faster. Right-click on the tab and select Add New Tab to Split View. This will allow you to view both tabs side by side. On one side, you'll keep the story and on the other, you'll paste small parts of the story to generate image prompts. Now simply copy a small portion of the story, paste it into the prompt box in the side tab, and generate the image prompt. Continue repeating this process, copying and pasting different story segments one by one until the entire story has been converted into individual image prompts. Take your time and make sure every part of your story is covered. Once all image prompts are ready, switch back to a normal tab view. Step number two. Now open Whisk AI. You'll see a clean interface with a prompt box in the center. Since we're creating short form videos, make sure to set the image size to 916 vertical. Open split view again between ChatGPT and Whisk AI. Now, Copy your first image prompt and paste it into Whisk AI, then click Generate. 
Wait a few seconds and your first image will be ready. Repeat the same process with each image prompt, one by one, until all images are created. Once done, download all generated images to your device. Step number three. Next, go to the DubDub website. Under Products, choose Text-to-Speech. You'll see a script box. Go back to ChatGPT and copy your entire story, then paste it into DubDub. Make sure to delete any timestamps or titles. We only need the story itself. On the right side, click More Voice Options, and you'll see a variety of AI voices. Choose one you like. In this tutorial, I'm using Tommy Murphy, but you can choose any voice you prefer. After selecting, click Export, choose MP3 format, and export the file. Save it to your device. Step number four. Before we continue, I want to quickly mention something important. I've placed all the essential resources in the video description for you. This includes background music, sound effects, and character image packs. These character files contain different professional cartoon style figures that you can use to make your horror videos more engaging. We'll talk more about how to use them during the editing phase, so don't worry for now. For the moment, open CapCut and import all the images you downloaded from Whisk AI. These will be the visuals we'll use to build our short horror scene. Next, import the voiceover file you made with DubDub into CapCut. Start by dragging the voice file onto the timeline. This will be the backbone of your edit. Now, one by one, place each image so it visually matches the corresponding line of the script. Aim for meaningful visuals that enhance the story. Take your time. Adjust each image's duration so it lines up precisely with the narrated sentence or beat. If a line is longer, extend the image. If it's short, trim it down. Pacing is everything and add brief crossfades or cuts between images to keep the flow natural. Constantly preview the clip to confirm the images and voice are perfectly synced and tweak timing until the visuals feel like they're telling the story alongside the narration. Once all the images are placed on the timeline, let's focus on the first scene. The script starts with the sentence, this is a true story, so we'll need the background and character images separated for this part. To do this, Open Nano Banana AI and import the first image. Once uploaded, type a short prompt asking the AI to remove the character from the image, then click Generate. Wait a few seconds and you'll have the background image without the character. Download this image and import it into CapCut. Drag it onto the timeline at the starting position. Next, place the original image with the character on top of the background layer. Select the image layer with the character. Go to the background remover option and choose auto remove. You'll see that the background is removed, leaving only the character on top of the separate background. Next, select the character image on the timeline and drag it down so it starts off screen. Place a keyframe at the starting position. Then, Move a few frames forward on the timeline and change the character's position to the center of the screen. CapCut will automatically create a new keyframe. If you play the clip now, you'll see the character animates smoothly from the bottom to the center of the screen, giving a natural entrance effect. To make the scene more dynamic, we'll add a shake effect to the background image, the one without the character. Go to the Effects tab, select Shake, and apply it to the background layer. Adjust the speed and strength of the effect to match the intensity of your story. Too much can be distracting, so tweak it until it feels dramatic but natural. This combination of movement and subtle shake adds tension and makes your opening scene more engaging. The next line of the script says, in 1997. For this part, we'll only need a town image in the desert as the background. To keep the animation consistent, Copy the attributes such as position, scale, and effects from the first image and apply them to this new background image. This ensures the transition feels smooth and professional. For the following line, we'll repeat the same process we used for the first scene. 
separate the background and character using Nano Banana AI. Import them into CapCut and then use keyframes to animate the character into position. This keeps your storytelling dynamic, with characters moving naturally across different backgrounds while maintaining visual consistency throughout the video. Using the same method throughout, I animated all the clips one by one by separating the characters from the backgrounds and applying keyframe animations. To make the story more dynamic and visually interesting, I also added random characters in some scenes, giving extra motion and enhancing the storytelling. By carefully animating each element and syncing it with the script, I was able to complete the entire story, creating a smooth and engaging short horror video. Once you've completed all the animation and keyframe work, it's time to add the finishing touches. Import your music file and place it on the timeline to enhance the mood of your video. Next, go to the caption section, choose a style you like, and apply it to your video. Position the captions in the center of the screen and adjust the size so they're clear and easy to read. After that, head to the Filters tab and apply a 4K filter to give your video a polished, cinematic look. Once all these settings are in place, you're ready to export the video in 4K, ensuring the final result is high quality and ready for upload. This is a true story. In 1987, a desert town reported a strange blackout. Every light, every phone, every engine died at the exact same second. When the darkness hit, people saw something massive above them. A ring of dim red lights, rotating silently, like it was scanning the ground. The government blamed a power surge, but witnesses said the object hovered for eight minutes, long enough for dozens of people to vanish from their homes. Weeks later, a worker linked security footage from a nearby military base. It showed the same red ring descending behind the mountains, followed by screaming. Files from that night were sealed instantly. Officers who questioned it were reassigned. Every reporter who covered the story suddenly went silent. Same day, same hour. Residents say the red lights made no sound, except a faint clicking, like something counting. Two days ago, the clicking returned, this time over a major city. No one knows what the lights want, but everyone agrees. They came back to finish something. And that's it. You've successfully created your own short horror video from start to finish. Don't forget to experiment, have fun, and keep improving your storytelling skills with each video you make.